Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that uh, Falgi absolutely needs to be looked at because the the next recipe up on Falgi that doesn't use water uses manure, three units of manure to get two extra units of Falgi. Pretty sure three manure is not worth two Falgi on any stretch of the imagination, so yeah, no. Not not doing that one. That one will not happen. Uh, so what I have actually is uh, Mark. No, I I don't want to do that. Thanks. I want to I want to delete that. Uh, what I want to do is actually switch that to Mark Two because I have Mark Two of that. 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 I don't know if I have Mark Two of the com. Posting plant, though. But anyway, uh, I should be carrying some of this stuff already. I'm not carrying these, so there's those. Uh, um, post. Right, so I have the recipe for the Mark II, but I'm not carrying the Mark II. That's fine by me. And then... Lots of Relasia plantations, and some botanical nurseries, which I do have Mark II versions of those. Flowing. Slash flowed. Should be six that I need of those. Uh, Relasia! All the wonderful, beautiful, glorious Relasia plantations. Wherefore art thou again? in this mess of stuffs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah. Uh, two? Are you kidding me? Two? Two short? On those? Hmm. Sadness. But I'm not carrying around the modules either for the release yet, anyway. Nowhere near sufficient quantities. Oh boy, alright, put those there, and then grab a few release yet, and then off we go to figure out where I'm going to do all this literal shitting. Oh hey, that's a, that's an important one. Yes, yeah, so we need to go and literally do all of the all the poop. We need all the poop on the planet. And this is only gonna give us fifteen <laughs> per second. This is only gonna give us a yellow belt. Hey, look at look at all these buildings. Look look at look at all these buildings that we're going to need. That's a yellow belt of poop. Yep. So, where am I going to put my yellow belt of poop? Here? Where shall it be? Don't know. I've got some manure here from Augs that flows, but I'm looking for something more dedicated, a lot more dedicated. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking here, near our, near our Ulrich, into bone meal that is not being used in the slightest. You know, it's just not being used in the slightest. 
It's a source of uh, coke without needing to add anything else here. So that's exactly what I'm what I'm thinking. I think my candle went out behind me. I am I am smelling candle. Hmm. Hello, Rock. Nice to uh, nice to see you. So it's quite convenient that I don't have to worry about actually getting hit by a train when in the crawdad. That is that is massively convenient that I can just take what ever route I want to get to where I'm going and to not care cuz this this crawdad does not care about any trains at all it just it just shakes it off and keeps on rolling I need to go up and over, don't I? Or down, or whatever. I don't know. Where am I going? What am I doing? Things. Stuffs. Oh, it would probably help having uh, all of that connected. Yeah. All of these existing would be pretty nice, maybe. Nice uh, line of big power poles. I really don't think I will ever have all of the lights placed just for reference. Probably not going to have all the lights placed like ever. Okay, I'm thinking that the actual train station is going to be over here. Over over in this zone, so I'm going to build not all the way in the corner probably start right around here uh, on this and then the question of the day is where does this begin what do i start with where do i start among all these things. Well, if the train station is going to be over here somewhere, I should probably start with the last step first and work my way backwards. Uh, and the reason why I say that is this will allow me to plan out the spacing a lot more easily so that I don't run out of space. <laughs> For anything uh in particular right now because i need 533 spore collectors <laughs> like this will this will help me with uh the planning around needing that many buildings i i really i want to i want these to die these all need to be destroyed and get out of my life and of course, we need to start with uh, not Mukmo pastures, but uh, also I'm gonna like not one of those. Oh, I don't have regular warehouses now, do I? I have I have the other type of warehouse. Where's the other warehouse? Hello, provider warehouse. Wherefore art thou? Invent inventory, please. I know I have things. Those, those things, yes. Those here, fill with stuff. Just all, all those things. Yes, that many spore collectors. Five hundred and thirty-three. Close to a good ratio for direct insertion. Well. Eh, eh is the uh, is the is the proper response to that? That would be what five each. Have you have you seen the size of a spore collector trying to put it direct inserted into a Faugi plantation? Like try try putting that 
five around a Falaki plantation and have a... It's actually more than five, technically, but... Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. And I'm using the best recipe I have available to me right now, which is the 0.6 output, the 60%. Okay, I need to leave her a little bit of room for belts. So I guess right there. Also grab grab what muckmo I do have. Oh boy. Uh so that's five. What's a good number to divide 140 by? That's divisible by 2. <laughs> 2! Yes, let's have 2 rows of 70. No. No, no, no. Let's have 2 rows of 70. And then, again, 7... <sighs> 4 yeah 14 rows of 10 is I did have a row of 90 I'm trying not to have a row of 90 like thanks I'm 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 trying not to do I'm trying not to do that 73 of a building this size these are the these are the same footprint right no muckmo is bigger Muckmo is bigger than Ulrich. Um, I'm leaning towards the 10 rows of 14, actually. Uh, so that'll be 10... Uh, and that will be 14. That is absolutely what I'm leaning towards, is that uh, 10, 10 of 14. Have I looked deeper into improved value? I guarantee they're not worth it. No, substrate is very hard to produce. Like, the, no. No, substrate is awful. Uh, fungal substrate is not good at all. Like, not in the slightest is it even remotely decent to do, fu fu like, it's urea. Like, no. 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 Fungal substrate is urea. No. No, bad. Da hiss. 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 Spit. Die. Fungal substrate. No. Not even remotely in any consideration. So anyway, caged muckmo. We're starting with these. We're starting with making some caged muckmo. Uh, and this is a prime, prime opportunity. Get all my things, yes. All of my things. Put away some of the stuffs for the moment. But the Mark II and III substrate all require the previous level of substrate. So they still require urea. That's, that's the problem. Urea is involved in this process no matter what you do. Uh... And therefore, none are, will ever be worth it in my mind because it's a, a not necessary expenditure of urea. It is a completely unnecessary urea expense. It is not required to complete the game and therefore I will not do it. The only time I will ever make urea will be for a process that I need to beat the game.
Like just the the concept of me using urea for something that is completely one hundred percent optional is not going to happen. It is it is not happening. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do the entire line of 14 as the cage Makmo recipe. And I have, I have said exactly what I have continued to say i will i will not use urea for anything that is optional that that's that's just flat i'm i will not use urea for anything optional period end of complete flat end discussion right there it is not going to happen you are not convincing me otherwise there there is in no world where I will be convinced to use Urea for anything that is not required to complete the game. <clears throat> As it stands, I already hate the fact that I have to use Urea to make Grodd. And don't think I didn't notice that there's been changes made to Grodd in, uh, in the code. <laughs> I, I have seen changes being made logic and reasoning it it's expensive straight up it is expensive to make urea just there there is no uh other reason it is it is expensive that and there is no convincing me otherwise raw uh, urea is incredibly expensive to make even even in it in, in any amount of buff form it is still expensive to make It is excessively expensive to make. If urea was simple, I would use it. If it, but it's not anymore, so I'm not going to use it for anything. I'm not even using it. I'm not using it for ammonia for that very reason. It's simply too expensive. Like all of my, all of my ammonia, I would rather spend chromium making ammonia through nitrogen and hydrogen than to make ammonia through urea. Because A, that particular recipe to make ammonia out of urea hasn't been balanced whatsoever for the new harder requirements for making urea in the first place. So it's... That alone is bad, and then urea itself is just abysmal. Abysmal. Where even? It's... It's here. Abysmal. Ab 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 abysmal. Especially since it's also Zogna. For, for this. And then wastewater. <clears throat> is a ton of energy in space like the i have fish somewhere where's my where's my fish where's my fish here's my fish here's my fish that i would have to void and to keep the process moving to produce wastewater to get any amounts of urea out of the wastewater i would have to not void the fish. I would have to convert fish into blood and then atomize blood into urea to have something dedicated for fish urea. But, like, uh, fish are half a megawatt per building. They are 500 kilowatts per building to operate these things. This is real intensive on power. Like, these things use way more power than most other things. Yes, render the fish into into blood and atomize the blood into urea to make the most use of it and then use the wastewater to make more urea too. It's 
Ah, and I think actually overall that's freaking cheaper than the normal way of doing urea. Uh, stuff, things. So I have two belts here. One is water. I have to I have to think I have I have to think a moment. We have water barrels and then and then stuff and things. So water water stuff things. And then this will also have empty barrels that needs to be filtered out. Filter out them empty barrels. Empty barrels, empty barrels, right there. Uh, into 1703. That's a few barrel. That is like a few things. That is multiple things doing barreled water. Barreled water, that is, yeah, that is three. That is, that is three. That is, that, that, that is a few barrels. Oh, that's unbarreling. Yeah, no, I need, I need barreling. Barreling the water, yeah, other way, other way around. Same, same thing, I need three. Hmm. This is not where this will permanently live. I just need the build. Just because you don't think it's bad, it doesn't mean that it isn't bad. 100%. It's it's awful. 100% without doubt. No doubt at all. Urea is awful. <sighs> ready for spaghetti? I'm ready for spaghetti. Ooh boy, this is going to be a bit, bit of, uh, of, of, uh, that spaghetti stuff that uh, we're known for around here. Yeah, this is gonna be gonna be a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's. Gonna be that right there, and that right there. Going in from over, not there. I'll figure out how I'll do all that. Uh, that will be. No. So what's going to happen is I'm going to do that combining, like, way off somewhere else. That's just for my own personal reference. I will do this. I will do this. And that is the water barrels. Huzzah! <laughs> uh... Inserters, scaling, all that good stuff. Yeah, and power. Oh boy, power. Yeah, about, about that. Why? There you go. 
that will be power, but it's not scalable. Let's make this... Let's attempt to make this scalable. Does that reach? Pretty sure no. No is the answer on both fronts. Wow. Alrighty then. So I probably want one there and there. That'll do. That will do. Did they change the sound for picking up stuff? I don't know. What is... No. Uh, if you... You meant buildings. Slightly. It is different, yes. This 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 pickup sound is different. It's it's deeper. And there's like a few extra hints of stuff going on there. It it does sound a little different. That absolutely sounds a little bit different. Uh That is definitely different. That's the same. That's like a click. A, a deeper click. Don't know why splitters are different, but splitters are different. Because yes, we are on version 1818 now. By the way. As if, like... With all these other things going on, yep, now we have version 18 uh, to have to deal with and worry about. 1818. Uh, it didn't change anything, uh, by the way. It it's all it's all the same. Every, everything works still, which uh, should at least say something. It is it is functional. The the things work. This will go up. Excuse me, you need to die. Uh, also, for reference, I am totally anticipating that this is going to. Uh, Pretty much take the entirety of the rest of this stream, as well as the entirety of the rest of basically every stream to come. Like, the, ne the next stream at minimum for doing all of this. Let's grab those. Because this, this is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. There, there's a reason I made the, uh, the title of the stream, The Path to Cotton Guts. Uh, because that, we probably won't see Cotton Guts at all for, like, at least two more streams. At least two more. Uh, yeah, so here's what we're going to do with this. I guess. I'm looking 
a little bit forward to eventually having high block exist uh, with alien life compatibility. That will be that will be a time. Don't know how enjoyable of a time, but it will be a time to have Pi Alien Life with uh, with Pi Block with that style of play. Okay, uh, Dyke. I hope you like copy pasta, cause now it's now it's time for all the copy paste BS. Oh boy, I'm out of red belt. Who'd have thunk I would have run out of red belt? For uh six eight ten. And that, my friends, should be 140 of the Mukmo plantations, or whatever the heck they're called. Farms? They're, they're farms. Pastures! That's the word. I am off! Hashtag one tile! One tile off. Alright, there there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got the spacing. Also, I need more poles. More power poles, more of the everything. I need more of the everything. Okay. So this isn't, like, completely finished with all the, like, logistics part of it. But f for this moment, uh, and what I can do here is not that. Um... is that, because that's the end. That's the last thingy. That's the last thingy ba Uh Probably also going to change that. So in actuality, I can do that. Yeah. That is a lot better of a solution. Because then what we end up doing is something like this. Ta-da! Uh, and that's the, uh, at this point, caged Mukmo. Uh, again, that will all be... Oh, right, ca caged. Duh, cages. Duh, cages. Uh, okay. Um, how am I going to handle this? I'm, how I'm going to handle it is I'm not going to have all of them making cages.
and the cages will go in like there. Okay, so we'll have we'll have cages going in here on this on this line with all the with all the water and I'll only actually probably do like that. Okay, so that's an intentional cut there. Moving on from that cuz that's actually the full the full Mukmo infrastructure all planned out just add buildings and everything else. And modules. But we're making the modules. Okay. Relizia seed. As well as Falgi. Uh, so Relizia seeds. Obviously will come first. We will use six. Mark two botanical nurseries. For this. Let's try to keep things somewhat in line. Making uh, the Relizia seed. I need to make sure that I prioritize right on these seeds once they uh, come out of these machines. Uh, this is 1622, which means... I need to do lane stuff. Oh, I'm also out of inserters. Yay. Uh, 